already before that I feel like my food addiction is definitely a spiritual battle for me more than it is about food you know what I mean rather than it being actual food addiction and this morning as I was getting ready um, I was cleaning up the kitchen and all that stuff and I, I just I put some worship music on and I just I don't even know what song it was but I was like wow this is a trial I'm going through because of the enemy and it's like he knows that when I feel low, when I'm not at a good place, he knows how to get me at a not very good place. I don't know how to say that any, any way else. And he just targets me. He targets me hardcore. And you know, the closer you get to Jesus, the more you're gonna feel the attacks of the enemy. And that's what I was feeling. It's literally what I was feeling. What encouraged me was that I know God has me and I know that he is working in my life. And if anything, it encouraged me. Like the attack of the enemy was like, okay, okay, yeah, God is working. And that is why the enemy isn't leaving me alone. And so I just want to encourage you to, you know, if you are struggling uh, with life, if you are struggling with addiction, whatever it is, you will overcome. It is going to be a struggle like every day, but it's okay. I'm trying to think of what I need to hear right now. I can't do it on my own and I have to continue to trust Jesus, continue to go to him and give him my burden, give him my struggle. And I encourage you to do the same because again, we just, we're not very good on our own and on our own strength, it's very minimal. So I just, it's kind of what I need to hear, I think. Um, I just want to push forward today and I want to crush it because I deserve to feel great. I deserve to feel healthy and I need to take care of my body because if I'm taking care of my temple God is able to use me in amazing ways and yeah that is that is that is all I'm gonna go to the coffee shop grab my espresso shots and then we're gonna go to my parents house so I will keep you all updated <music>
Good morning. I am about to have my leaning green today. It's been a good day so far. I'm just trying to take it a fueling at a time because I think, yeah, right now I just, I gotta get back into fat burn, especially because this weekend I have girls camp and I really am gonna be around food and I don't wanna have that temptation, even though I'm gonna have people there to hold me accountable. But I really just wanna get the fat burn started so that when I'm there, the cravings are a lot less. So wish me luck. Today is gonna be a good day, I believe, and I will keep you guys updated. Oh, also I'm on my second 32 ounce, so that is a good sign of good things happening. I just, honestly, I just made this video because I wanted to share. I just made my hot chocolate and I, I'm having victory right now. I'm choosing this. I'm choosing me, I'm choosing my health, I'm choosing my relationship with Jesus over something that's gonna bring me temporarily comfort and discomfort later. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. recording this on day eight but I basically just wanted to talk a little bit about how day seven went I struggled so much in the evening after the barbecue and I did great I did great at the barbecue hands down I was very proud of myself but it was on the way home I don't know if I was just emotional I don't know if for some reason I was feeling some emotional something and I was just like, let's go to Taco Bell, which I regretted because it truthfully wasn't that great. Like, I wish I would have just went to a restaurant or something at that point. But I quickly felt terrible about my decision and I was determined the next day, today, to do better and to get back on track because I'm ready to just get back into fat burn. I was feeling so sorry for myself, but it's like I was the one who was making those decisions and I just, instead of going to the gym or instead of coping well I guess the gym was closed but instead of coping in ways that I know are better for me I ended up going to food even though I wasn't hungry um and I don't think it helped that I was already having regular food you know what I mean regular food uh chicken and barbecue chicken like I when I say regular food I mean seasoned chicken okay seasoned food um so yeah I, I just I figured I'd mash these two videos up and it is currently the end of day eight I am on my way to the gym. I'm super excited. I'm pumped. Honestly, that's a lie. <laughs> I was literally on my way here. I was getting into the car and I was telling my husband, oh, I honestly don't really want to go. Like, I'm not really motivated to go. But I know how I'm going to feel afterwards. So I'm like, let's go. And that's what gets me so excited because I remember how I felt when I came yesterday or I guess two days ago. I don't know. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it just reminds me of how I felt when I came the other day. And so... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm ready to choose a healthy choice because otherwise I would most likely be at home looking for something to eat. That's just how I am. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me a little bit. All I do is run. So I'm gonna be running and walking for the next 45 minutes or so. So we'll be in there. <laughs> 